Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Today we're holding our monthly technical seminar. We're going to be working on a Silver Cloud 3. The customer did say when he started it up in the morning on fast idle, put it in reverse, he had to use both feet to stop it because it took off like a bat out of hell. Okay, now let's look at what the brake's doing down here now. Before, we would apply the brake pedal and this inner rod would move, and this one would move a lot, not as much. So what we got also is we got, we got a lot of play in this servo. Before, that thing would move another half inch before it would reach its rest stop. So now I'm going to adjust the servo. These are 15 16 nuts. There's two nuts on here. They're 15 16 uh, And they adjust the position of this expander mechanism and how far away the clutch is from the plate. So what I do... Here, we hold the light for you. There you go. I hold the inner nut. <laughs> and then I loosen the... Oh, there we go. There's some gorillas out there. All right, so I loosen that, that, adjust, that lock nut. And now we're going to turn the axle here. Of course, I got the brakes good in my turn the wheel for you? Let me turn the wheel for you. We can start it up. So you can use this. And I'm going to tighten the inner nut, the adjuster nut, a little bit at a time while turning this until that servo, you'll see, it'll start moving. Someday. You just get a multitude of adjustment problems on this. There we go. See that? Yeah. See how that's starting to turn? Yeah. So let's, let's back it off so we can get our starting point. So now it's not turning. And then I'll just go ever so slightly more until we get that point to where it starts to turn. There, okay. So you, you back off from that point. It's just a little bit. And then it's either two or three flats. On a new servo, I do two. On one that's old, it's already bedded in. I'll do two and a half. Okay. Two and a half flats? Yes. Flats, not turns. What's a flat? The flat is the flat side of the nut. There's six of them per, per nut. So you just one. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a tire that's not round on the bottom. <laughs> Doesn't make free vibration? Well, only when the bottom comes around. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> I know, don't quit my day job. Okay. Okay. So now let's just see where, where, see what we got. Can you put the light up there where we can see those linkages? There you go. So it's all applying a little bit sooner. How about this thing back here? It's still not returning like it should. There's another point that you got to worry about. This this big arm right here has a pivot in it. Oh, it's out of place. Let's. let's See if we can pull that out. That arm right here, I don't think it's that loose, to be honest. <coughs> the spring needs a little more tension, doesn't it? You want it to relax all the way. And that's that's where our problem is, is it's not relaxing all the way. So we're, we're going to cheat a little bit here. It's been known to happen. Spring looks good. Yeah, it does. It's overstretched. Yep. It's been tweaked. Where'd that flashlight go? That spring hooks way back here. Usually it just pops out of there, but since we're on camera, it doesn't matter. Would you say that its spring has sprung? Yep. Yeah, overstretched, <laughs> overstretched, no doubt about it.
So how do we shorten this? I, I, oh, it. I don't think I have one laying around. It's one of the parts I've been meaning to order for a long time. I think Post 55 has these. Do you have another S3 around here? Uh, yeah, but that's mine. Oh. <laughs> and I'm not going to crawl under it to get it. So what we'll do is we'll cheat a little bit here. Let's add another bend in this. Give it a little more attention, huh? Well, shorten it. Yeah. And I will cut that excess off. And that's just a normal wear and tear that has extended that stretch. That uh, it's like probably that? somebody pulled the master cylinders out and they didn't disconnect that. And went, yeah. What I did is this had a longer piece of wire, yeah, right. and I curled it and cut it. And we'll see how that works. Now, feeding it through that little hole is quite the project. So I came okay. up with this cheater method. I take sure. some baling wire or tying wire, feed it from this side. That would do it. Hopefully don't lose it. We gotta go this way. You wanna hold your light? Hold yeah, if you don't mind. Hands. No, no. Do you want your helmet running? My helmet? Your helmet running? Buffy. No. Okay, there's that end. We will, uh, this was the end that went back there. Oh, that's how you didn't have In fact, you know what? That was in there backwards. That's where the long end, I think, went that way. So we're gonna go that way. It was in see if, I think so, yeah. So you got to do this gently. Don't disconnect your loop. And then we'll hook this back up on there. Still. Yeah. Oh. She's getting disconnected. I know the engineers, it's killing them that I'm putting this stretched out spring back on, but Steve's got to drive this home today. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And the brakes are going to work better than they did before. And the battery is going to charge the right direction. Yeah. This gentleman said he has to put a bungee cord on. There. Well, you got to put a good bungee cord on, though. Don't buy it at Harbor Freight, because once you stretch them once, they're done. Okay, now, can you get the light over here on this hole here? And I'll see if I can pull this through. There it is. And that's, that's where it hooks up, right there? Yeah. That's better. Oh, no. Or you can just put a Mickey Mouse screen on the outside. What's this? That's the auxiliary spring. <laughs> No, it's the Mickey Mouse spring. The helper spring. Yeah, well, like I said, I've been meaning to stock up on those, and I just don't have any right now. Are those readily available through? Post 55 has them, I think, and Albers. So we will fix this at another visit. How's that? There we go. Let's see what happens here. No, it's not tight enough. That's, this isn't going to pull. This is not quite.
Just something that works, like I did. Yeah, that one's right. adequate. The other thing I did with the bending and all that, I would have replaced it. I would have put the right one, something on, like I just did, actually. So. So we're getting more adjustment out of this because it's being in a different position now. So it's in the proper position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. There we go. Okay. Um, two flats. There's two right there. And where this really comes into play is when you change directions. If that servo doesn't relax all the way, then it's going to take longer for it to wrap up and, and apply the master cylinder because it has to go all the way around. And that's part of the reason that if you hit the brake pad or brake shoes in succession, that's why I didn't have it. Remember I explained that you hit it once and hit it again and you had nothing? That's what that was, just because that wasn't relaxing. Okay. All right. I think we're done. All right. 